Welcome back to Studio 10. A campaign against cyberbullying has come to the Gulf Coast. Gabriella Van Ray is an author and bullying prevention expert. She's spreading her message against bullying using a very special basketball. We'll tell you all about that in a second, but first, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So you've got the ball. Let's talk about cyberbullying. How prevalent is this uh, amongst preteens and teens? Much more than we see in the statistics. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think uh, it all starts with bullying first. The children have to meet but then it continues non-stop on in the cyber world and there's so much to choose from nowadays mm -hmm. I mean most kids have like at least five accounts of different things like Twitter Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. and most of the young ones already raised their hand in second grade that they're on social media Wow! so it's really prevalent out there right very prevalent so tell us about some instances of cyberbullying that you've encountered or heard about well one of the ones that is a big one is boys and girls, uh, two girls uh, basically catfighting over uh, a boyfriend or an ex-boyfriend. That happens a lot on, mm -hmm. on, in the cyber world. But what happens and that we don't hear about a lot is people taking really humiliating pictures of boys and girls much younger in the bathrooms, in the mm -hmm. stalls and stuff like that. And that you rarely ever hear about. So for wow. someone like me, I hear about it a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're seven or eight, I think the children don't even realize how much that smartphone becomes a weapon right because first of all you shouldn't be using it in the washroom to begin with right a hundred percent so you know we're talking about preteens and teens and this is also a critical stage in development uh, for all these kids and when these types of things happen it can really attack uh, who they are socially and how they feel about yep. themselves and lead to very serious things like depression and even suicide can you talk a little bit about that? absolutely I think when I started out two years ago talking in the schools I I would have said it was one suicide every two or three months. Whereas now I hear about suicide weekly, if not every other day in this country alone. Yeah. So I said to myself, I got to do something because more children commit suicide during the holiday season between Thanksgiving and now. So I said to myself, the analogy of this ball being, if we don't pick it up, it's a child that we lose. So let, yeah, let's talk about the basketball. Tell us yeah. more about this and the thought behind that and what you're trying to well, do. It, it really you know, it saddens me to see parents after the fact. Mm -hmm. And I'd like, I'm for prevention, I'm for communication. Right. So I, I don't think it's rocket scientists to help these children, but we need to all help. Mm -hmm. And so to, to get awareness out there, for me the awareness is all three, mm -hmm. meaning educators, parents, and the children at school. So by doing it, my analogy is we drop things. We drew, we're not kind every day, and it's, it's okay not to be. But what isn't okay is not to pick it back up. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone has a bad day, but I'm saying that kindness is a choice. Mm -hmm. And for the children, that's a novel idea. Yeah, they right. really kind of go, oh, wow, <laughs> we, we could? <laughs> I yes. said, you could. <laughs> so are you bringing that basketball around yeah. then? to I dribble yeah. it, mm -hmm. I bounce it, and mm -hmm. I say, we've dropped the ball on human kindness. Who, who wants to pick it up? Perfect. And then you, you have a child that picks it up and says, now what? <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and, and the now what is actually really easy. I, I say to the child, one person, one moment, one kindness. Is all it takes because that's what you do to the child next to you, right? Instead of bullying it, you just bring it some kindness yes. when it's sitting alone at school or when you know or something. It's such a great message and I tell you what, how can the folks out there who are watching right now learn more about what you're doing or get involved with well, what you're doing? Well, it's all my website, GabriellaVanRay.com and I know that's difficult to spell, but I made sure that there's a hashtag called <laughs> the ball of kindness Okay. and pick up the ball because that's what we want people to do. They can donate but what is most important is we want parents to actually call me <laughs> and literally say Gabriella, can you pass in my city because we're passing in 50 cities before we're bringing the ball to President Obama. Wow. Who hopefully will help pick us, pick this up by really what I would like to see is a le legislation that's nationwide, mm -hmm. where we really work together, where it's not just punishment, where there's something that we see as a good result. Well, the work you're doing is so important, and we really appreciate Thank you being you. here on Studio 10 and spreading that message uh, with your basketball, and we hope you can bring it to President Obama in the future and get that legislation passed. I do, too. All right, thank you so much for being here. There's more information about Gabriella on our website, so if you would like to learn more, as we were just talking about, go check that out. Thanks again. Danny? Thank you. Hey,